I find you this David here. I'm so happy to be with you and share with you today. You know, one of the things I really miss about being in the uh, powerhouse when I get to share with you guys on Sunday mornings is the class participation. I really miss that. As you know, typically when I talk, I, uh, I give a little speech and then we break up into small groups, maybe two or three each, and we get the Bible out, we read it, and then you guys come back and, and give me some of your thoughts on the verses that we had uh, just read, and I really missed that. But today, we are going to have some participation, I hope. So you will need a, a piece of paper and a pen. Um, it won't take long to do the participation. And uh, I am thankful that uh, I do have somebody here listening with me. Uh, my little girl, Layla, always sits here and watches me. Um, she only talks every once in a while when she barks and she's hungry or uh, wants a treat or maybe to go outside. But I'm thankful that she's here listening uh, today with me. And I do miss you guys. So one of the things, uh, the lesson today the title of it is, What Does God's Smile Look Like? And um, every morning, I read this little booklet. It's called The Upper Room. Um, it's at the church on the welcome uh, desk in the atrium. It's free, so that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. And every, it comes out every two months. So there's two months of readings in here. And each day, a, a person from all over the world uh, gives a little Bible verse, then they tell a personal story that relates to that Bible verse and relates to their lives, and then there's a prayer. Well, today's uh, reading is from Laura Quintana, and Laura is from the Dominican Republic. I would like to read it to you. Laura says, from four o'clock to six o'clock each morning, I spend time in prayer and devotion. I find it the best time to engage in conversation with God, praising and thanking God for each new day. As I was meditating one morning, I thought, what does God's smile look like? What can we do to make God smile? Just then, the young man who delivers the newspaper came by. Every morning when he greets me with a warm smile and a hug, I imagine God smiling upon me. A smile can bring encouragement to someone who is sad or lonely, a way of saying to someone who is heartbroken, wait on the Lord, God loves you, and so do I. What does God's smile look like? It looks like the smile we bestow on all those around us. It looks like the joy we bring to others in our words and deeds. When I return a smile, I know that God is smiling upon me as well. When I smile at others, often through words and deeds, God smiles back at me. And her prayer is, God of joy and blessing, thank you for your smile that we see reflected each day on the faces of all who believe in you. Amen. And that, that was just a, I read that, and um, I pray after I read it, and it made me think, what does God's smile look like? So, how can we make God smile? A couple things that I thought of, and there's a whole bunch that I thought of, but two very important ones, I think, is when we worship. So let's say we're at church, Sunday school, reading scripture, praying, or singing. And if we're doing all these things, typically it's at worship a lot, but if we're really listening um, to the ministers, if we're reading scripture, if we're listening to the adult leaders and pathfinders, or listening to each other and pathfinders when we, when we do our readings and come back and share our thoughts, when we're praying and singing, this brings a smile to God's face. And I know I've told you guys before that I used to not sing in church. I didn't think I had a very pretty voice. And many years ago, I decided, what the heck? I like singing. It brings me joy, and I know it brings God's uh, joy as well. 
And I'm always moved when I look over in church and see a young person just singing away. Um, many times I go up to them and thank them for their, their singing, especially if I heard their voice and how happy I am to hear them singing during church. We enjoy what God has done for us. And when we express that enjoyment to God, it brings him joy. But it also increases our joy. The book of Psalms says, the righteous are glad and rejoice in his presence. They are happy and shout for joy. God smiles when we use our abilities. A few Bible verses that talk about God smiling is Psalms 118.24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Then there's Psalms 47.11. The Lord is pleased with those who worship him and trust his love. And then Genesis 1, 31. God saw, God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. Another way that we can make God smile is when we pray. We've talked about a lot, praying a lot in Pathfinders. God smiles on us when we pray. All around us, God is smiling, but he's especially near, especially bright, in the quiet that we seek beyond the noise of the day. It is there that he relaxes us, fills us with peace, and encourages us to open up to him farther, further. Yes, when we pray, God smiles brightly and strengthens us beyond our imagination. God smiles when we praise and thank him. Few things feel better than receiving praise and appreciation from someone else. God loves this too. He smiles when we express our adoration and gratitude to him. Proverbs 8, 17. I love those who love me, and those who seek me, find me. Number 6, 25. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And then there's Psalms 34, 5. Those who love, those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. So here's my question for you. And um, I talked with Jackson, and he said it was okay. So I want everybody to write down your answers to my question, and then I want you to text them to Jackson's telephone. He said it's okay. Many of you have his phone number in your phone. Um, if you don't, your parents or uh, somebody does. So text him your answers, and here's his phone number, 640-5036. And here's the question. How can you make God smile? How can you, Pathfinders, make God smile? Now, I've given you a few examples, or a few of my thoughts, but I'd love to hear from you guys. And maybe Jackson can uh, send these out in the next email. Well, God smiles when we love him supremely. God smiles when we trust him completely. God smiles when we obey him wholeheartedly. God smiles when we praise and thank him continuously. And God smiles when we use our abilities. I want to read from uh, the message, Ephesians 5.10. Figure out what will please Christ and then do it. I like that. So I would like for each and every one of you to sit back. I'd like for you to close your eyes and think of a time when you made God smile. Think of a time when you made God smile, what does God's smile look like? Our Heavenly Father, thank you for your smile. Help us to love you, to trust you, to obey you, and thank you always. When we seek your smile, we grow closer to you. 
In Christ's name, amen. Remember, send Jackson your answers on how can you make God smile. See you soon. Bye.